Hello everyone and welcome to Star Wars The Old Republic. This video is aimed at giving you a brief overview of the information you will need to jump right into the new expansion. Star Wars The Old Republic, Knights of the Fallen Empire. In this expansion, your character becomes the Outlander, making decisions that have real impact on the story and the fate of the galaxy. The expansion also offers a new point of entry at level 60 for all players, which we will be overviewing as well. So let's get started. Let's talk about joining the game at level 60. First, you want to select the Create Character button. Here, you will be given the option to start a level 1 character or to create a new level 60 that starts as the Outlander at the beginning of the new expansion. We're going to select the option to create a new level 60 character. Next, you choose your faction. Your character can be allied with the Galactic Republic or the Sith Empire. I'm going to go with the Galactic Republic. Then you are given the option to select your character class. In Star Wars The Old Republic, you are able to choose from one of eight classes with four in each faction. You then have an additional customization option as each character class can choose from one of two specializations called Advanced Classes which allows you to align your character with how you want to play. Personally, I have always loved Han Solo, so I'm going to go ahead and pick the Smuggler class with Gunslinger as my advanced class. Before we move on, you will notice the Advance button in the bottom right corner. If you are an experienced Star Wars The Old Republic player, you can dive in for greater class customization. Thankfully, Bioware made it super easy for new players to jump right in by giving you a pre-selected loadout optimized with the best abilities and advanced customizations for your class. So we're going to go ahead and hit next and let the game choose the most optimized discipline for my advanced class. After you select your class, your next choice is what species you want to play. Each class has a group of default species to choose from. There are some classics like the Twi'lek or Zabrak, but I think I'll go with a cyborg for my smuggler. The last step is customizing your character's look and choosing a name. When you're happy with your character, simply click the play button. Welcome to Knights of the Fallen Empire. Now that we're in game, let's take a look at your ability bar, which you will be interacting with the most. Your first step while playing is to stay alive, so you want to keep an eye on your health. The health bar is located here next to your character's portrait. On the bottom is your character's experience bar. The main section here is your quick bar, which is where all of your abilities are equipped. When starting a new level 60 character, you will only start with a few abilities, but as you continue to play through the first chapter of the expansion, you will quickly acquire more. If you want to view all of your class's available abilities, you can bring up the ability menu by pressing the P key. Here you can view all of the abilities you have unlocked and those you can gain in the future. To equip or rearrange abilities on your quick bar, simply left click the ability from your menu and drag it to where you want to place it. The last thing is the question mark icon here. It's a pop-up guide to access information on game features and controls that are introduced while you play. This is a useful way to review and gain further information on game features and controls. Now that you understand your quick bar, let's put it to use. When approaching an enemy, first select a target by left-clicking the enemy you want to attack, or by pressing tab to select a nearby target. You will notice the enemy's portrait and health bar appear here. To cast abilities, press the corresponding number key or click on the abilities in your quick bar. Some classes need to build up power from using basic attacks before they can use certain abilities. Be aware that an ability will be lit up on your quick bar if you're able to use it, based on how far away you are from your target and your character's available power. Using companions can further customize your playstyle. You have access to multiple companions, each with unique abilities, but only one can be brought into battle at a time. When a companion is with you, you will see the companion ability bar located here. Once you get a feel for the ability bar, there are a few other things to keep in mind. First is to always make sure your health is at 100% before entering combat. Each character has a healing ability that can only be cast outside of combat. Your character's heal ability is located here by default. Pressing it will make your character return to full health over the course of a few seconds. Once you have defeated all of the enemies in a group, look to see if they dropped any items for you to loot. 
Any dropped items will be represented by a beam of light and can be collected by right-clicking on it and selecting the items you would like to pick up by left-clicking to accept. When looting enemies, you will come across gear that is better than what you have currently equipped. Press the I key to bring up your inventory and the C key to bring up your character screen. Mousing over items in your inventory will bring up stats to help you compare the new gear with the items you currently have equipped. You can swap gear out by right-clicking on it in your inventory, or drag it over to your character screen manually to place it in the designated spot. Another thing to stay aware of is your equipped item's durability. You can view your item's durability in your character menu by mousing over items. As you progress through the game, your gear will lose durability and will need to be repaired or replaced. Vendors are located on each planet throughout the galaxy. These vendors can not only repair your damaged gear, but also sell you new gear and buy your unwanted items. Every vendor has the ability to repair items, so just click on the first one you see. Now that you have a good understanding of combat controls and managing your items, let's take a look at the mini-map and some key points of interest. The purple icon on the mini-map shows you where your story mission objective is located. By clicking on the plus or minus buttons, you can zoom in or out of your mini-map. Press the map button here or press the default M key for a full screen view of the map. On the top right of the map menu screen is a breakdown of current missions. On the left side is a legend of what each icon on your mini-map represents. To view your missions in more detail, press the L key to open your mission log. Here, you can view details on all of your available missions, as well as a breakdown of rewards for completing them. You may also select which missions you are tracking on your minimap by clicking here. Notice how the mission icon disappears and reappears on the minimap. Use this feature to find where your missions are located. Well, that wraps up our brief overview of the key commands and controls you need to start your adventure. You should be ready to jump into the expansion and join the fight. If you have further questions or want more information on a certain game system, please check out the Star Wars The Old Republic website or the Star Wars The Old Republic YouTube channel for further info. May the Force be with you.